Hey, what's up guys? Bumbletron back and today we will be reviewing the Transformers 5 The Last Night Premier Edition Voyager Class Megatron from Wave 2. So there he is and first let's take a look at his box. So right here on the front it says Transformers. It is a Premier Edition toy. There you got Megatron in a pretty cool picture. Uh, his name is Megatron, half of the set, the gun symbol, Transformers, age, no, not age, but things in Transformers last night, age is 8 and up, Hasbro, on the underside, you just got the app on this side of the box, it says Megatron, Merciless Tyrant, and you have a pretty cool picture of him, and he is a Decepticon, on this side of the box, it just says Transformers with a Decepticon symbol, the rest of the picture, he's a Voyager class, and there is the Decepticon symbol on the back of the box you got his name is Megatron also available Autobot Hound which I could have picked up because I saw it too but I decided not to for now and you got your product shots robot jet 22 steps warning be careful no kids and it includes a figure one accessory and instructions and that's pretty much it for that so coming down here we'll take a look at his instructions they're the same size as Optimus Primes um he's Premier Edition Transformers there he is they just eating up Decepticon Megatron Voyager class Transformers last night there you got him in another shot and of course you get your instructions Woo! instructions yippee so yeah so now that we're done with everything that comes with him except the accessory which we will look at later let's go ahead and look at this amazing looking Megatron toy so coming in here on the nose cone you can already see so much lovely molded details right here on the nose cone with like a gold cockpit and some more gold around here um, it kind of reminds me of mustard the, it's not regular, like the spicy mustard, but, eh, it's, I'm just gonna call it gold. You got some transparent, lucent, whatever word it is, red right there, under there, and I'm pretty sure that this does open, if I'm not mistaken. I think it does, but I can never seem to get it opened. And I don't think it opens anyway anymore. I think it's the leader class version, but I'm not sure. I even if it could open, I can't get it open. I have more molded details all through here. Some more of that gold, lovely details all the way up here. There's the front of his cannon. If you don't know what that is, the wings are beautifully done with some more of the gold on a line. Um. You got like these thrusters done in like a blue silver, like a blue with silver done over it, which looks amazing. And yeah, the underside, there's not really much to see. You can kind of see these are his arms, that's his skirt, and that's like his torso and his face is right there. But other than that, you can't really see it, which is very, very nice. Now he does come with one weapon he comes with. His sword, axe, whatever you want to call it. And basically how it stores in this mode. Before we do that, just take a look at this. He, the whole toy and the weapon is done in like a gunmetal dark gray. And molded details everywhere. And it looks just amazing. Now basically you see this tab here. There's a couple places you can put it. You can put it here on the nose cone. Which it doesn't really line up right due to the head being there. But it will stick on there and you're going to kind of have him driving with a big axe sword sticking out of the front. Now there are slots under here but sadly they do not, this does not tab in there correctly. But how the instructions say to store it which is the best way. Either way you can put it but I like to put it going backwards. You just tab it in right there and that's probably the best storage you're going to get. And I'm pretty sure on the leader class version which I hope to get very soon it stores the same way and that's pretty much it now before we go to robot mode I do want to tell you what happened when I got this I was in Pigeon Forge and if you don't know where that is that's in Tennessee in near Dollywood it's where Dollywood is it's more like Gatlinburg 
but there's Tanger outlets there. And this I found in a Toys R Us outlet. It was the regular $29.99 bucks, which is what you pay for a Voyager unless you go to Walmart, then it's cheaper. Or at least where I live it is. But, um, very, very cool. So, what happened is I didn't even think Wave 2 was in America yet because I can't, I can't find the deluxe classes anywhere. I mean, I'm looking for Squeaks and Steelbane. I don't want to order them offline. I kind of want to get everything from Walmart. But since I knew it's going to be like a month or two before Walmart gets this. And I already reviewed the Voyager Optimus. And these go together great. I just wanted to go ahead and get this from Toys R Us. But... Yeah, so that's the interesting story of how I got it. I just walked in there thinking I'm probably not going to find anything but Wave 1. Um, maybe Wave 2 Deluxes, but I walked in there and there was Wave 1 Deluxes. And two Megatrons, of course I got one of them. And three or four Hounds, so it was really cool. I decided not to get Hound because I want to save to get Leader Megatron, um, Steelbane, Wave 3 Bumblebee uh squeaks and hot rod before i get anything else and then i'll go back to getting hound and all of that stuff but anyway enough talking about how i got this toy you guys probably don't even want to know that so let's just go ahead and transform megatron so the first thing you want to do is you want to come here and you want to untab these panels and bring them up you see there's this little slot here that went over that tab and then there's a tab here that went in right there. So you just want to untab these. Just like that. Sometimes you got to wiggle it out. And then bring these down to the side. Just like that. I One more click. Then you want to come under here. You want to untab the skirt pieces from the arms. You see these two tabs just went in to these two little slots there. Just like that. Now we can flip it around. You kind of want to get the legs out of the way. You want to take this whole assembly and it's on a hinge right there. You just want to bring that up for now. Then we can rotate him and work on his legs. So you want to rotate at thy swivel. Bring that leg down. Straighten it out correctly. Just like that. You want to untap his foot. And basically you see this tab here just went right there or there I don't know which one I tab it in there though because it secures better I don't really look at the instructions if you can't tell then you want to rotate his foot then you just wrap this whole piece around him so you just want to wrap this wrap this and this tab will go into that slot right there just like so and they got one leg all done just like that. So you want to do the same thing over here. Rotate, bring that down. Untab the foot. Rotate it. Wrap this around. Just like so. And then tab this in. Just like that. And they got his legs all done. Now you can just bring these skirt pieces down. And you want to take there is a you want to take these pieces. There's a hinge right there. You just want to rotate them all the way around, just like that. And those will complete the skirt. So I will raise the camera just a bit. Then you want to take these pieces. You want to fold them out, and then you want to take the arms, which tab in very securely on mine, and you want to try to untab them. There we go. And they tabbed in this little piece this little tab went right in there and then the cannon you see there's a tab right there it went right in there so you just want to bring these around and they will tab in this little tab will go right there you kinda gotta push it in and same thing on that one and basically the arms are a little different so we're gonna start with this one basically all you do on it is flip the fist out and sadly it is hollow in there but I could care less cuz I I don't do that with my toys where you can see the hollow but anyway you just want to flip that hand out on this one too but on this one you want to bring this cannon forward and bring it down just like that and yeah now let's get out here Last but not least, to lock all of this 
in securely. You just want to take the nose cone. It's on two hinges, one here, one there. You want to be really careful. That way you don't break anything. But you want to bring that down. I think the instructions say to leave it flesh against the back, which looks better. But I like to bring it down two clicks just to clear it out. And so it goes into this gap right here. And then you rotate his head around. And wow, that is it. And do we have an amazing looking Megatron toy. He looks absolutely great. So let's come in here on this head sculpt. Sadly, one, two things I want to point out about this toy that don't really bug me, but they could have fixed. One is the hollow that I've already pointed out. And another one is they could have made it where you can give him his face mask too, like the leader version does. But we'll just save that for the leader class version. Looking at his face, it looks exactly like it did in the movie. You do get some pretty good light piping right there. Pretty cool. He's got that gold mouth with red eyes, some red on the head. It's done in the gunmetal gray again, but just look at how many gorgeous details there are. Some silver in here. Sadly, these pieces could have been painted the gray too. They just left those unpainted, but it's not that big of a deal if you ask me. You got a Decepticon logo right there and more gorgeously done molded details. And they picked these out with that gold paint coming down the skirt. Looks amazing. Down the leg. Just this whole toy. Both Megatrons. Leader. Actually, all three. Leader, Legion, and this Voyager one look amazing. The Deluxe one, eh, don't really even look like the movie Megatron. But I'm going to pick it up anyway because I never got the original mold. So look forward to that review. But, yeah, now he can store his sword. So you just tab it into the nose cone. You can have it facing up or down. I like to have it facing down, though. And it does kind of stick down there, which I don't like. But I doesn't. it really doesn't matter to me. I have him holding his weapon anyway, so I really don't care what the storage looks like. I have him holding his weapon. And that is one amazing looking Megatron. Now we'll remove this real quick. Articulation. The head is on a ball joint, so you can do a full 360. He can not really look up. Just a little teensy bit. He can kind of look down. The arms can do a full 360. They can go in and out, and these pieces do move. So if you bring the arm back down, you do want to push those in to complete the look. You've got a bicep swivel, the elbow has some very nice spend about that far. Um, due to transformation, you can do that with the wrist. Nothing at the waist due to transformation. You can move these skirt pieces so the legs can go forward. They can't really go back. I mean, they can go back if you face them out a little bit. They can go in and out. Just like that. Oh, you have a thigh swivel. A knee bend. Very nice knee bend. And uh, due to transformation, you have this joint here. If that does anything. And yes! Yes! A movie toy with ankle tiltage! Even though it's not even supposed to be there. It's just a transformation thing. But it's still amazing! Anyway... So, yeah, that's pretty much it for Megatron, a one great-looking figure. I can't wait to get the leader version, and once again, those other ones that I mentioned will put the box in the background. I don't even know if I do this anymore. It's been so long since I made a review. There's the instructions. You can't yeah, just get those out of the way. But... Yeah, I can't wait to get some other Transformers Last Night toys to review for you guys and for me to play with, mostly. Not trying to be mean, but yeah. Um, let's see, how many do I have now? Three official ones from the movie and one official toy, but he wasn't in the movie. The Tiny Starscream, Voyager Optimist, Deluxe Barricade, and Voyager Megatron. So yeah, hopefully 
I will have squeaks and hot rods soon, and then we'll wait on wave three for Bumblebee. And Steelbane may sadly have to wait a while if I want, because I want Leader Megatron worse. But anyway, that's pretty much it. So there you got that one great looking toy. If you even see this thing, and you've got thirty some dollars to pick him up, including tax, um, I'm just. I don't care if you want him or not. Get him. He is amazing. I didn't plan to get him until like November, not November, September or October. But I saw him and I was, mm, give me that toy. Just to go with my Voyager Optimus. But anyway, that's pretty much it. Let's get finished with this. Let's stop talking. So there you go. There is the Transformers, the last night, Premier Edition, Voyager Class, Megatron, and uh, once again, it's very cool. So remember, be cool, be awesome, and bye, peoples!